$12,000 budget. Oh no. Wait, what is this? Only some of the area is highlighted? Like I could build to here, but then I can't build out here. So I gotta create a jump that has a landing which can then jump to the flag. So it seems to be a level about conserving speed. So the best way to conserve speed is to have a very neutral change in angle like this. Maybe there's some merit to it, who knows? Oh no, I'm so bad at jumps. Maybe I could just shorten the road and then do a singular steal. That way the car being further out won't cause it to break. That has a good sign. Raise it further. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's change the angle just so I can see it as it jumps. How does it land? Oh, beautifully. Okay, it just breaks a piece. So I gotta get this unbreaking now. Oh my God, people got it for so cheap. I'm 500th place. If I tilt it up, does the catching road break still? Let's see, how does it land? The landing's good. Okay. I don't want to budget shave this. This one should be more up my alley. The checkbox. Oh, the pre-build is blocking the checkpoint. So I actually got a bulldoze out of the way. It's perfect as a bulldozer. Had a little bit of practice with the uh, previous level. I feel like this one actually might be best if it's just a straight road. So it's pretty heavy, this bulldozer. 13 polygrams. Might actually need steel under sport. Oh, but I have rope and cable. Oh, screw that. I'm doing under sports. Just like that. I mean, that should hopefully support it. I mean, cable's very, very strong. Does it get worse when it pushes it out of the way? Yeah, actually it does, because it applies a bit of downward force onto the bridge. That makes perfect sense. And then ideally, I would just want to do another cable to here. And then I think these can now become woods, now that the cable just simply goes lower. We can take a look at the stress. The stress should be all within the cable, not really affecting the roads or woods much. And there we go. Is that half budget? It is half budget. It felt too easy. It was too easy. I'm not even top 10%. Question, is this road necessary? I didn't think so. Can this port be raised? I failed to see how that could be important. Nice. I'm content with this bridge. It's satisfying. It's on grid. Whoa, a rolling start. Look at the trajectory of this dune buggy. Look at this steep slope it's got. It should mer merge perfectly with this road. However, they need supports and then they need a jump. I'm thinking of a couple ideas. I'll first do a little arch right here and that can be held up by the balloon. Hold on, it's gotta actually ramp up at the end though and then have it be double roped. Maybe it's as easy as just doing a support like that and then just do an over supports. I mean, there could be some merit. Like I was thinking an arched wood support to be right here. Let's at least make sure it holds first. It's kind of stressed to begin with. So where is it stressed? <laughs> Uh, that's pretty bad. Is it at least gonna let me see the second? I mean, yeah, but now I don't want to spoil it after seeing how sad that was. Changing the roads too much would be a disaster. Well, you know what? This should probably be fine. Do we think buffing up the top would help? Or do I just need to connect it to the under? I don't know if that helps. Still causes a break. So I don't think this helps. I think, though, I could do a top rope support. Because it is under tension, and that might hold better than the wood. Well... It made this rope snap. Okay, maybe I'll bring back the compressive wood on the bottom. Maybe it makes a difference. Yeah, it just broke the wood. So let me see how this lands. Terribly. Okay, one steel. Just one steel. My only steel friend. That's who he is. Uh, that one works without any breaks. How about the second one, huh? Oh, that landing is brutal. Okay, so what if instead I do a steel support that looks more like that? What do you got, dune buggy? Oh! Oh, almost. That would have been nice. A little smoother ramp and there we go. Green car works, red car's looking better. Nice. Oh, oh, hit the road stop. Ooh, that was pretty cheap. I kind of want to get it cheaper because I'm enjoying this level. Do I need this piece at all? I do not. Unless, no, I don't need it. Could this be a wood now? Ooh, that doesn't break anymore. For either of them, nice. Oh, and the stop held up, well done. What if I do an over support here because it's probably cheaper. It's not like the top section was under any stress. 13th, okay. I think I can get top 10 from here. It's gotta be attainable. How close does the red car come to actually making it? It looks like I could shorten this road a bit. How does that change everything? That works, there we go. Oh, but ninth place is so close to 10th place. It's only $500. Yeah, let me look at my ropes here, see if any of them can be replaced with wood rope. 
These ones, no, but the one supporting the steel, possibly, how does it react when the car lands? That reacts fine. So, here I could have a wood rope. It does wiggle a bit, though, so it probably will make the steel slightly weaker. But strong enough to work, and that should be top 10. That's a ninth place. Let's go. Oh, that's the end of the pre-build world. Damn, I'll miss that. That's a cool concept. Let's see if I can bring back my hydraulic ability. Oh, what are these pre-builds? I don't need these here. Welcome to the world of hydraulics. Oh, there are some roads that are locked in. Oh, and I'm forced to split it here. So I have to have equal hydraulics on both sides. First thing is I'm definitely gonna have under supports. I am gonna have over supports in some parts. So if I'm to hydraulic just this one piece up, the trick is this. You take the pivot road or pivot wood, you take it, you rotate it 90 degrees like that. And where the joint is should be the middle of the hydraulic. You adjust the hydraulic so it's in the middle now. And then you could have a full contracting hydraulic at uh, 50%. Anyways, look at this budget. If this works, I'll be so happy. All right, so that's obviously an issue. So let me try not doing it under support, instead linking up to the very nice and friendly side joint here. Oh, I can change the split joint on this level. Well, that fixes every problem I had. Much better, okay. Because now I could just pull over these roads together. I'm also gonna take this, raise it up just so it comes a bit stronger. But now I still gotta support the under part. That is still way under budget. It just doesn't want to connect. All right, let me change up a little bit then. I'm gonna do a steel under support. Get this nice and low and then attach wood to it. There you go, thank you. And that should easily let the plane go by. Now it is a touch over budget. This takes forever to go. Ooh, 97% stress, don't like it. I think this can actually be wood rope here. Perfect, half budget exactly. Oh god, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, that's actually amazing. The momentum keeps it rotating. But here we go. Shorter hydraulic, it doesn't pivot over. That's so good. Oh my god, come on. The wood here broke, how dare you? After everything we've been through, for you to just give out like that. Don't give up on me now, thank you. Do I wanna shave the hydraulics? I am top 100. But you know, maybe it's fine if I just like make the hydraulic really short like this, support it like so, and then get it to work like that. Oh, that does hold. I actually thought that would collapse. I got a lot of stress to work with. Okay, top 50, top 40. I'll push this a little further. I actually wanted to see how close this is to the plane itself. It looks like there's still some room to work with. Oh no, this road is really close to hitting that plane. Okay, so actually we don't have much space to work with. Can I make this steel piece like shorter? Because I think all that matters is that there is steel here. See, I got 9% stress to work with. Why would I stop here? Plus I could finally beat pa bacon pancakes in a level. You know what, fine. Let's keep raising it up then if that's the case. I guess the theory is that the right side can just be shaved a lot. It's getting less stressed. What the hell? Try to get top 25. Maybe I could raise some wood up. And as long as I keep shaving the right side, just leave the left side alone, I could probably make it to the 25th. Oh, easily. I could probably make it to the top 20. What if I bring these woods in, also shortening the hydraulic? Yeah, I think this build is about as good as this design's gonna get. It's top 25. It flexes. Another hydraulic level with, what the hell is C? Yeah, yeah show me what C is. Okay, I don't get to see it. So like the chopper's gonna cross the bridge, then the tractor's gonna stop at the stop sign while C comes, and then I've gotta send it? I don't know, but part of me wants to build the bridge down to the foundation. Maybe this has merit? It looks a little bendy on the side. The tractor does stop. It stops right in the middle. Well, it only broke because the wood detached. If this was a steel, would it hold up a little bit better? Also, cool background. It's like a training camp. Uh, what? <laughs> Why is this a split joint? Excuse you. Okay, here we go. The road gets out of the way for the very tall sailboat. Oh, look at that going. Well, it looks like it holds. Now, is it going to reconnect? It is, but it, there is a bump. But that doesn't matter. It still makes it. So I like it, but it's got to be cheaper. I want a shorter hydraulic. I think the plan then is to do like part wood, part hydraulic. All right, this little thing is so tiny, but that's a big pull. Now, it doesn't have the force to actually push it back. That may struggle. Yeah, it didn't even click. 
Yeah, you hate gravity. All my homies hate gravity, actually. Do I even need a hydraulic here? Like, what if I just kind of make the roads long and then just enjoy the gap? It's still a bit of a jump, so you gotta make sure it can fit. The biker got through. Wait, is it a tractor? Oh god, this whole bridge pivots. Hold on. If I get rid of the steel and just have it attached here, the gap is valid. Just this tractor, it weighs a lot. Really pulls the bridge. Yeah, it does. There's no rope that can help me. I have to go steel if I want this to hold. Come on, tractor, you can do it. Oh, it's back wheel. It's a heavy boy. Well, I could do one steel here. Come on, tractor. Okay, so this also needs to be steel. Two steel should at least be enough to hold that behemoth. Then it is. But I need a thousand and a half off. I think these undersports might be more expensive than just going over supports at this point. I just figured I was spending a lot of under supports. Yeah, we are in hydraulic bridge costing territory, but I think I can shave more now. I wonder if I can make the catching road simply shorter. Isn't it cheaper then to support it like this? Well, the biker almost doesn't make it. But it all comes down to the tractor and it does, 500 to go. And it's not even close to that stressed. Yeah, I'm just optimizing the right side catch. Does the biker still make it? It's kind of moving. Okay. <laughs> if this doesn't work, it'll be the biggest tease of all time. No, it does work. I have to change that bridge out of principle. The issue is I don't know what the hell to shave next. Like, I guess I can tweak a bit on the arch. Maybe it could just be lowered. All right, it's under budget. Does it work? Find out in like 30 minutes. Well, this is what we've all been waiting for. Yep. Wasn't that worth the wait? So here's what I'm gonna do. If I take this and just like put it out of the way and then make a faster catch and shave elsewhere. But no, no, maybe, maybe it would actually work if it's like just a single joint like this. I don't know, I feel like it's definitely missing out on steel. But if it works, then, well, I'm a happy camper. Oh, that does work. Let's get that back in, see if it actually works for real. Come on, you can hold. Don't fuck me here. This is our reward. We found a decent shave, and our reward is the weight. LA's fastest driver right here. Come on. Get in. Okay, half budget. Love to see it. I don't want to play this level anymore. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, this is a low, low budget for me. However, I do have some stuff for free, so maybe it's not all that bad. Wait, hold on. There's a few things I'm confused about. First off, this here, this is a no-build anchor. So it's meant for the pre-build, and I can't get rid of any of this stuff. Next up, so I thought this mechanism would help lift the bridge, and maybe it still will. What I need to figure out is where on earth I would actually attach a hydraulic so it may lift. I technically don't need hydraulics here. I'm sure that some sort of like weight-based system could work too. Wouldn't that be funny if I just say screw hydraulics and lift the bridge up via gravity? What I was thinking of doing was like just building wood on the side of this anchor. So when the split joints detach, I would then get it to be tilted down? No, it's not gonna outweigh the road. Watch what happens here. It'll detach and then it's just gonna fall to its death. Never mind it. Well, <laughs> It being the car, I suppose. How about I say screw half budget for now and just try to get a working design. Try to figure out at least like what the intended design is and we'll do that. And the thing is, if it is to go the height, I would have to like pull it up this high. This could work if this works as a swing. This should pull it up. Oh, but it swings in the wrong direction. Hold on. Like if this was stable, it is. It could work as a pivot point and then be swung up like that. And that works, but it's very expensive. So what the hell am I gonna do to make it cheaper? Okay, people did get it under half. I'm probably not in that tier. I wonder what, what like the intended solution is. Oh, that's the intended solution. So you attach the joints under the bridge. I bet I could do this for half budget. So the first road has to be like able to swing up, I guess. Cause I think I'm just kind of going for something that works. Uh, at half budget. It doesn't have to be the cheapest bridge in the history of bridges. It just needs to be pretty good. So like, does it make it over that bump? It does. Okay, and it... Well, it gets out. Oh, are you kidding me? Is it stuck here? 
Yeah, it's very stuck there. All right, yeah, that's one of the first things I had to test. Next is just moving back the road. Trying again. Sneak through. Next is, does the road click? Well, it don't click. Warms my heart that I can keep saving money on this hydraulic. It clicks. <laughs> it works. All right, fair enough. That is very cheap. Now just, I need it to not break. Do I need this wood piece? Uh, I think the answer is yes, but we'll see. Well, the nice thing is that if I want, I could make this a hydraulic, because I think hydraulics are strong. Maybe I could contract it, actually. Yeah, actually, hold on. How does a double hydraulic solution work? Interestingly, because I realize actually this can't expand or contract. It will break the bridge. So it just needs to be sturdy. Catch it. All right, it's sturdy. No breaks, 8,500, love to see it. Hold on, I want my top spot to at least be uh, non-breaking. Okay, hold on, if I keep bringing in the hydraulic, should be a shorter pivot, should be more likely to click. There we go. There we go, no breaks. Nice, people just got it for way cheaper now. At least I'm seventh. No, I'm good with the hydraulic support. It's under half budget, let's move on. 